Hey friends, I'm gonna take you along on a grocery haul today. So typically I share my Costco grocery hauls that happen about once a month. And usually those are really big hauls, so it's fun to make a video about a giant haul. But I actually do a lot of like weekly grocery hauls as well. What I typically do in order to try to feed my family um, without breaking the bank, I shop the sales at our local stores. And the main stores that I focus on are Safeway and Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer is our local Kroger store. So basically what I do is every week I pull up my Flip app on my phone and that just has all of the different ads for different stores in the area. And I go through and make my list of all the things that are on sale that I want to stock up on. Some weeks there's not much, some weeks there's a lot, and so it kind of just varies. Some weeks I'll go to both Safeway and Fred Meyer if there's good deals at both. Since it was just the holidays, there were a ton of good deals in December. So I was stocking up like from both stores every single week. I got so many um, rib roasts <laughs> that were on sale as well as... Um, New York roasts, I cut them all up into steaks, so my freezer is packed with ribeyes and New York steaks. Love that. Um, so some, some weeks there's a lot, some weeks there's not very much. This week I'm gonna be going to Fred Meyer, and there were quite a few things on sale that I wanna stock up on, so I will show you all that. Also, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Perfect Keto. You guys all know that I love Perfect Keto and you know all about their amazing products that they sell on their website. But the cool thing is, is that they are actually getting their products into some retail stores also. And I love this because we want to make keto as accessible as possible to everybody. And obviously keto is accessible because you can eat real food on keto. You don't need products, but some people when they're transitioning from a standard American diet, they just feel like they still need products. And so to have good quality keto products available at retail stores, I think is a big step forward in making keto accessible for a lot of people. And Lord knows there are enough really bad quality keto products in stores that if we can balance it out a little bit with the good quality ones, um, that would be great. So up until recently, I did not know that there were any perfect keto products in stores in my area. I know that there's a lot of perfect keto products in Sprouts stores, and we don't have those here, unfortunately. I would love it if they came here. But when I checked out the store locator um, on the Perfect Keto website, I actually found that there are a lot of Perfect Keto products in different stores in my area. Um, at Fred Meyer, where I'm going today, there's a couple, so I'm going to be checking those out. And then um, there's another store in Portland that um, it's called Market of Choice, and they have six different uh, Perfect Keto products, some cookies and some nut butters and different things. So next time I'm in Portland, it's a store that I used to go to back when we lived closer, but next time I'm over there, I'm definitely gonna check out all the Perfect Keto stuff there. And hopefully as time goes on, um, we'll just see more and more of these good quality products popping up in our different retail locations, I think that would be wonderful. I will include a link down below to the store locator feature on their app, so you can check and see what might be available in your area. My ballerina just finished ballet class. She's got a big recital coming up in a couple of weeks that they're working so hard for. And so she's my helper today at Fred Meyer. Okay, now we're ready to shop. Avocados are on sale, 99 cents for an organic avocado. That's such a good deal. Also organic blueberries. These will get inhaled at our house like within an hour or two of me getting them home. Everybody loves them. These sandwich meats are on sale and they are pretty good. They do have some sugar, but they it's only one gram per serving and the kids love these. Get some of those. We can get five on the sale. I love reduced and this is Applegate Farms. Let's see. Oh, they have more. How many can we get? I will throw these in the freezer. Okay, I always come to the meat department even if there's nothing on my list from the meat department because they often have reduced stuff, um, but then there's also a lot of stuff on my 
list from the meat department today. So these are buy one, get one free. It's $10.49 per pound, so it'd be like $5.25 per pound, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know if I need so much, though, because we have some tri-tip in the freezer. I think I'm going to skip the tri-tip today because I had gotten that for a good deal not too long ago. Let's see what else. Okay, there's some reduced stuff. Let's see, this is over a pound. That's a pretty good deal. I'm doing that. Two of those. These ones are one pound for $6.49. Chuck brisket short rib. Oh, these ones. That still seems kind of expensive for uh, 1.3 pounds. I, might, I think I'm gonna do a couple of these. And then the actual reduced section, oh, well, that's not that great. That looks kinda good, it's like really thinly sliced. I'm grabbing that. I always look at the price per pound down here to decide if it's a good deal. Okay, this is seasoned. I wonder what seasoning is on that. This one's not. I don't want seasoning. Let's see. Uh, that looks like about it in the reduced section. So the shoulder roasts are on sale for um, $1.99. So I think I'm going to grab one of those make something yummy out of it. Getting lots of meat. Here we are. Shredded cheese is on sale, so we have to buy five or more to get $5.99 per bag. Is that a good deal? That's $3 a pound. I think I'm going to skip that. I think we have enough, and I think I can get it at a better price if I wait for another sale. Cream cheese is on sale. I'm going to get five of those. Levi loves this yogurt and it is on a good sale this week. So when we get five or more, his favorite is lemon. So we're gonna stock up. Waterloo is on sale, but they don't have a lot. Grape is the best. Grape and orange are so good. All right, uh, we'll get one peach. You like which one? Uh, what? Which Waterloo do you like? Oh, I don't love black cherry. Strawberry's okay. No, no watermelon. I wish there was more grape, and then orange is so good. But oh, wait, there is watermelon. Look, it's back here hidden. Watermelon. Look at that. Yeah, I had watermelon. All right, I'm not sure if the perfect keto nut butters are going to be here with nut butters, or if there's like in a special. Oh my goodness. If they're in a special, um, like, health food section or something. Oh, here they are, here they are. Renee, come here. Look, they have um, the Perfect Keto um, Super Fat by Perfect Keto Nut Butters. Cacao, coconut, and then they also have the Macadamia Nut MCT. Macadamia MCT plus probiotics. This is something from them that I have never tried. Okay, so it's macadamia nut. So it's like a macadamia nut butter, which always is very soupy. This would be like a good drizzle on something. Coconut almonds and then MCT oil added. That, oh, and that has probiotics in there. That is very interesting. I'm gonna grab a few of these. Let's see, 269 cacao coconut. This one is really good. I've tried it in the, um, the uh, jar. But having like a little packet where you can throw it in your lunchbox or whatever, very, very handy. I can't wait until there are more perfect keto products and other, you know, like quality keto products in stores like this. That's going to be amazing. Maybe one day the perfect keto mac and cheese will be on the shelf here with the Cheeto mac and cheese and the mac and cheese flaming hot Cheeto. Wouldn't that be epic? The price on organic heavy whipping cream has gone up so much. Gotta get two. I know, but I'm almost out and I need more. These are a good pasta sauce, no sugar added. 
so Renee had to go to the bathroom and I'm so glad because I don't know if I would have noticed this giant display of Waterloo over here that has all the flavors. So now we can get the flavors we want. We still don't have orange, but they have the lemon lime and the grape and that's what I wanted. I have lemon lime. You wanna grab one? Yeah. I think we did it. You ready to check out? Yeah. All right. If you are finished scanning, touch and pay. Thank you. Please make sure to scan all items before placing them in the bagging area. Continue scanning. So here is my Fred Meyer haul. I stocked up on Waterloo. So seltzer water is often on sale, super often at really good prices over the summer. And I stocked up a ton over the summer and we're just now coming to the end of that stock. So I was waiting for a decent sale to stock up again. Uh, so that is what I did. Um, and then over here for the food, the Mir Glen tomato sauce was on sale, so I got five of those. I got, I think, two of the tomato basil and then um, three of the Italian herb. I got five cream cheese blocks. I got a few Lara bars. For Levi, they were on sale, and I also had a coupon for a dollar off if you buy three, so that made them a good deal. I got 10 of these. Um, this is such a good quality brand, and it's so expensive that when I saw it reduced, I just wanted to grab all of them, although I didn't, I left some. Um, I'm gonna throw these in the freezer and we'll just pull them out as needed, um, but that'll be a really easy protein for the kids. Of course, I have my super fat cacao coconut butter and my super fat macadamia MCT plus probiotics that I'm really excited to try. Two packs of the beef patties. Um, for $4.59 for over a pound, so that was a pretty good deal, and it'll be an easy dinner. Same with these, one pound for $6.49, so it's a little more expensive, but maybe it'll taste better because it's chuck, brisket, and short ribs, who knows. Um, carne asada, my husband loves really thin sliced carne asada style meat, and so $4.87 a pound for that was pretty good, so I grabbed two of those. Got five of the lemon yogurts for Levi, that's his favorite. I've been trying to mix in some of my good homemade yogurt with that so he gets in those other good probiotics too. That's a good way to do it. Two of the Organic Valley whipping creams that are getting so expensive. I got five of the um, other sandwich meats. I just got a variety. Some of the big ones, some of the small ones. Honey ham, oven roasted turkey, deli, smoked deli ham oven roasted turkey. I got three avocados, organic avocados, giant pork shoulder butt, bone-in shoulder butt, two uh, packs of organic blueberries, and I'm thinking that is it. We have an epically long receipt here because so many of these things were on sale. It makes it so long. Um, but the total that I spent was 22013 I had a coupon that they had sent in the mail for $10 off a $40 purchase. So I applied that. And then there's another coupon that popped out when we were checking out for $2 off the Applegate products. So these were reduced and we still got two more dollars off. So that was a great deal. Let me do a quick scan of the receipt here. And um, just in case anybody was curious about the prices. And that's gonna be it. For us today, thanks for coming along. Oh no, on our Fred Meyer grocery haul. Hope you guys are all doing great. And we'll see you again in the next video.